Today, we are going to fix Roblox error code 279 problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like. The first solution consists of three different steps. The first step is to clear Roblox data. To clear Roblox data from our computer, we go to the search section and open run. Then, we type percent local app data percent in the search bar and click OK. After that, we find the Roblox file in the open folder and right click on it. Then, we click on trash icon. To clear Roblox data from the browser, we open our browser. Then, we click on the three dots in the upper right corner and click on settings. After that, we click on privacy and security. Then, we click on cookies and other site data. We scroll down and click on see all site data and permissions. Then, we type Roblox in the search bar and finally click on the fresh icon to clear Roblox data. The second step is to allow Roblox through the firewall. To do this, we go to the search section and open control panel. Then, we click on system and security. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Then, click on allow an app or feature. To add Roblox, we click on change settings. Then, we click on allow another app. We need to navigate to the file location of Roblox. To do this, we open disk C. Then, we click on program files x86. Scroll down and find Roblox. Then, click on versions. Here, we see the multiple versions files. We need to click on the file with the current date. After doing this, we select Roblox Player Launcher and click on open. Finally, we click on add. That was the second step. The third step is to change Roblox's compatibility settings. To do this, we right click on Roblox Player and click on properties. Then, we click on compatibility. After that, we tick disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an admin. Finally, we click apply and then OK. That's the end of the first solution. If this solution doesn't work for you, we will move on to the second solution. The second solution is to reset our internet. To do this, we go to the search section and open CMD as an admin. There are three comments we need to write. I will put these comments in the description so you can copy and paste them into CMD. We will write the first comment and press enter. Then, we will write the second comment and press enter again. Finally, we will write our third comment and press enter. Now, you need to restart your computer. After restarting your computer, you can check if the problem is solved or not. The third solution is to change the DNS. To do this, we come to the search section and open control panel. Then we click on network and internet and then network and sharing center. We click on our network, then click properties. After that, we double click on internet protocol version 4. We tick use the following DNS server addresses and set preferred DNS server to 8888 and alternate DNS server to 8844. Then we click OK. We have changed our DNS address. Now, we can check if the problem is solved or not. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fix your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.